So that's why this will be my last YouTube video. And as hard as it is to do and say, you know, it's just, I've been doing this for so long. What's up babies? Today we're going to New York. Well, more specifically Long Island. And we're going to be having so much fun. We're going with my whole family. This is actually where they were born and raised. And. and Oh also, uh, we're leaving to Uck soon, or also known as the United Kingdom. Uh, we're gonna be gone for so long! I'm Whoa, I'm so dizzy right now. We've been there before, we're going back again. We're going to Leeds, oh Ireland, Scotland, all over the place. It's gonna be so much fun! And also stay tuned to the end because I have some news on where I'm taking my channel and just a lot. Yeah, things are gonna be different for Where are you taking it? Taking it. Taking it back home. It was just Lex's mom's birthday, and damn, she got flowers. Please. Like, literally, I've never gotten this many flowers. Boom! Halloween. Halloween! What are you guys gonna be for Halloween? In the premiere chat right now, comment what you're gonna be for Halloween. You know what I'm gonna be for Halloween? These nuts. Ah! Got it! He really ah! fits the part. Hey, babies. We just got shaved ice. So excited. This is like a very popular place around here. I've never been, but she has. And I got I three different flavors. It's so Italian. Let's try it. I got. So many flavors. Mm. I got rainbow. Oh, that's too good. That's so not good. Oh my god. Mm. Hey guys, so we woke up and we decided to get bagels. Because we're in Long Island. We're like, why wouldn't we get bagels? It's a bagel. So I'm getting I have a blueberry bagel. I've only had one bagel from like a bagel stop before. It was in Australia. So this is more fitting and we're gonna see if it's as good as I remember. I got my blueberry bagel. Let's take a bite. That's very good. That's a good bagel. Bagel. Today, we have a painting class that we're going to. I'm so nervous. Never been to a painting class, so it's going to be really fun, and I hope I do good. We're at a Christmas store right now, and I literally just said if I could marry anyone, it would be Christmas. If I could marry Christmas, I would marry Christmas. I love it here. We're getting my uncle a very funny shirt that I can't show you guys, but... It's really funny. That's what we're doing. We're gonna surprise you. Rainy cats and dogs here, but we're going to our painting class finally, and I'm so nervous that it looks like there's a ton of people there. I suck at drawing and art. I'm not an artist. Please wish me luck. I am so nervous. But we had a really good day, and I got so many cool stuff at the thrift store, so I need to show you guys later. I need to give you a haul. We're here. I have my paint area. I'm so excited. This is gonna be fun. I will show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. Long time later. This is how it turned out. First. We were just driving and we saw that piglets were for sale. We're gonna go touch some piglets. They're five hundred dollars. Maybe we'll leave with a piglet. Look at them. <gasps> They're so Here. First of all, let's start off with these shoes. My mom told me to get these, and I'm not gonna lie, I was like, Mom, those are ugly. But I got them. I love them. I've actually already worn them once. So then I got this Danny Duncan merch, and right when I saw it, I was like, This is mine, and Hunter can wear it if he wants. How much are the, like, his merch usually? I don't know. We'll pop it on the screen. I'm gonna guess about $6. $50. Six? Yes. Yeah, it's probably like $60 online. So, and then I also 
found this Montauk, Montauk hoodie. Because I'm going out of town, I wanted a lot of hoodies, comfortable things, and this is like some good quality stuff. I, I literally am a pants girl all the way. I will have the most amazing pants on and the same shirt that I've been wearing for years, and it just makes the outfit so much better. So I found these really freaking cool pants. I haven't tried them on yet, but I think that like if I tie it, it will be cute. I don't know. These are really cool. Like I really, I'm in love with these. Then I found some Juicy Couture. They are just so comfortable and they're cute and they're just like heavenly. I love them. Another Juicy Couture item I got was this jacket. I love how like tiny it is and like also it will just like really keep me warm. Now, hold your breath, sit down. You're gonna wanna take a seat. My mom was going through the sweatpants and she found a pair of Brandy Melville pants. usually like $30. That's it, I love thrifting guys. I just wanna let you know you don't need designer stuff to look cute. So if you guys wanna see me wear all of these clothes, go to my Instagram, cause stories, maybe some photos, I don't know. To give this video a little bit of spice, I'm going to be doing a driving with my grandma. And I'm telling you, if you're scared to drive with your mom, try driving with your grandma. <laughs> Well, not only that, but it's literally traffic hour right now, and we live in Los Angeles. I thought I was gonna like driving a lot more than I actually do because driving here is bull terrible. I hate it. I don't even want to do it. This is gonna be stressful for all of us. Let's go. I mean, get the hell in the car. We're driving with this animal. Watch That's out. It. Honest opinions. How's Piper's driving? Like you? Have you driven with her? I've yeah. driven with her in Georgia. You're gonna probably have to look back up again too. Yeah, I know. Go up a little bit more. Good. Okay, driving instructor. You know, driving is not easy. Uh, a lot of friction happening, y'all. A lot of friction happen. happening. How am I supposed to get this damn? <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so much. Oh my god, the seatbelt is freaking off. Put your freaking seatbelt on, child. Well, she's got to grab the GoPro. Pull it over. Go way off. Go to the right lane. What am I supposed to do, guys? I'm a very concerned. So we have some questions to ask you, Mimi, okay? Okay, joking. Um, they're pretty personal. Are you sure you're ready to like? <laughs> I don't wanna answer them, I won't answer them. Guys, if you ever have a chance to ask your parents or grandparents these questions in particular, please do, because they're really good. Who was your first love? I guess Piggy, because I stayed with him forever. Everyone else I broke up with really like, okay, I understand, I understand. What is your favorite memory of us? Probably a memory you won't remember, but when you were born. Why would I remember that? Exactly. <laughs> That'd be traumatizing. Why would I remember that? It was just beautiful seeing you be born. When they took you to this little side room, you did look like your father. I still, to this day, like, look a lot like my father, but no, like my mom. I think you look exactly like your mom. What is the one thing you want most for your granddaughter? To have peace in her life, to be happy, not to have people be mean to her. For her to be happy. Why? Well, I, I am happy, but I guess like the No, I mean happy in every way. You're not happy in every aspect of your life. I mean... But I think Mimi's saying from things that you can control at a certain point, it's like you can't control some things now, that's not fair. Like you should be able to control certain things, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think she's attacked by people for no reason at all. And I don't think she's just attacked. I think what makes her unhappy too is the fact that her mother's attacked. Her whole family. I mean, and that probably makes you upset because my yeah. mother is your daughter. Yeah, I just think people need to remember that you know, her, she has feelings, and her feelings get hurt when they talk about her, when they talk about her mother, when they talk about you, when they talk about anybody in her family. Because Piper's very protective of her family. And you know, it, honestly, nowadays it's just like. I don't even want to post on social media or anything like that. It's just kind of like anything you do is kind of just like it gets seen in a bad light. Yeah. You know, what are you going to do? Mimi, what is the one thing you want me to always remember after you're gone? Remember about me or just remember in general? The one thing you want me to remember about you? Cooking for you. Cooking for me. And I love cooking for people because of Mimi and just cooking in general. I literally love to just cook stuff for people. Yeah. Don't go anywhere because I need to talk to you for a second. Mimi, rate my driving. 100%. A plus plus plus. We are back on the couch of doom. We always talk about some crazy stuff on this couch. But today we're talking about back to the future. We're talking about the future with my channel. So I've been doing a lot more of these sit down videos talking to you guys because first of all, you guys like to see how real it is, but I know it's gonna get boring after a while. You know, knowing that something's gonna get boring after a while really opens up my eyes to just see that I can't keep doing the same thing over and over again. I know that you guys are gonna get bored of it. So that's why this will be my last YouTube video. 
and as hard as it is to do and say, you know, it's just, I've been doing this for so long and I'm just getting really busy. And like, not even like the way like, you know, people say they're getting busy, like I'm just like in general getting busy with other fun, exciting things in my life. And also I'm going on tour to the UK for literally like 20 days. You guys know I'm a homebody and this body will not be home for 20 days. What? I just know it's gonna be amazing and when I come back home, I'm gonna feel so accomplished, but I just wanna change things up. So yes. This will be my last YouTube video that I film. But don't worry, because I have something even better for you guys. I, two years ago, did a ton of scripted videos and you guys have actually seen like a lot of like the little coming up preview things, which I'm actually gonna show you at the very, very end of this video and you need to stay tuned to see. These are crazy and I cannot believe how much I've changed in two years. Like honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to watch them because like the way that I looked and like, I don't even know, I don't even know, but don't be scared, you're gonna see some familiar faces and it's just because that was from a long time ago and I think that that time in my life and those people that I was around with and that production is so good and like that whole thing was just so beautiful that I cannot just let it go to waste. I cannot just let it go to waste because first of all, it was TMI, but it was a lot of money. Second of all, that time in my life, that was like so important to all of us and we just loved doing it. It was just like such a memorable thing. Like I remember my makeup artist knocking on my door every single morning at four in the morning, wanting to do my makeup and all of my friends coming over. It was a really great time in my life and this, I just can't let it go to waste. So I hope you guys enjoy these for the next few weeks because it's gonna get crazy. It's also really good for you guys because all of these videos have been hiding behind a paywall so you actually had to pay to see them. But because I want everyone to be able to see them, I'm just going to give them to you guys for free on the house. But seriously, watch all of these trailers and I want you guys to tell me which one you want me to post first. We're going to have the editor label them like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I need you guys to tell me which one you want to see first. There are some juicy ones. Like, I don't even remember, two years ago. So, enjoy watching these. What? Just gonna go out without talking to me first? Jetson. I really like your dress. It's so good on you. Thank you. Um, I actually have a boyfriend. Piper! Jetson, back off. She's literally not doing anything. How am I supposed to believe that when she's sitting here flirting with this guy? I'm not stupid. Thanks for taking me shopping. Of course, I'll see you later. I think I just found my friend's charming. Holy crap, that's like $300 worth of Chanel. I know. <laughs> this one has been about how much a boy can buy us. You sound like you like poor guys. <laughs> well, let's go. Talking to other girls. That's because she treats me like a normal person unlike you. She actually wants to talk about games and cartoons. All you want to talk about is what you want for Christmas, your birthday, and just cuz. Where Piper's literally such an underrated creator. Excuse me, are you Piper O'Kell? Yeah, I am. I mean, I'd love to do a TikTok with you. Oh! Is that all you care about? Uh, yeah. You think I'd actually be friends with Piper if she wasn't famous? Oh, yeah, uh, about that. Are you sure? You guys haven't seen each other in like forever. Yeah, I, I think Ellie kind of likes it like that. What are you talking Whatever. about? Whatever. Where are you oh, anyways? I'm at Piper's. Oh my god, you're still there? So, he hasn't talked to you at all since that day? Literally, since that day. It's so weird. I think it's Ellie. Problem solved. This Saturday, I'm going to be walking in the Pride Parade, and I'd love it if you would join me. Mmm, no, no, I can't do that. You guys look cute, and perfect timing because there are cute boys at our lane, but tonight, we're calling dibs. Hey, what's up? What's your name? Piper. You're really pretty, Piper. <laughs> Think of any restaurant you want to go to, and I'll take you there. Gabby, I'm so sorry. I, I just can't be a part of this anymore. Gabby! Go hang out with your new boyfriend. Gabby, you're being crazy! Stop! Piper? There you go. Piper! Who's that from? It's from Lev. My brother sent you one? Oh my god. 
should totally call her. What time should I come over tonight? It's like around seven, okay? Yeah, seven works perfectly. <laughs> what am I gonna do? What am I gonna wear? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do with my hair? Do I smell? Get to my house now. Love? Do you miss me or not? Thirty-minute walk. If I didn't, I, I really don't think I want to do this. Well, watch out! <laughs> so you guys saw all of the previews, and again, I just want to say. You've seen some of these videos before and I love the feedback that I got back from them because it actually taught like a lesson. It wasn't just like a fun prank or challenge that I usually post. It taught a lesson about how to stick up for yourself or how to make sure that your friend's okay or to help the homeless. And that's what I really love and I really hope you guys love these. And again, I love acting. But I came out here and I literally had a show where I was just acting. It was like all me, it was just like an acting show and I got that taken away from me. And that's totally fine, it wasn't meant to be. But I do love acting. That's like how I started. And this is really fun for me. Really fun stuff. Acting, action, cheating, lying, girls kissing girls. <sighs> what? So that's why I wanted to tell you guys that this was my last YouTube video that I'm filming for a while. Because I'm going to be in the UK. But once I'm back in the UK, we're going to be back and better than ever. Maybe. Hopefully. I don't know. I might be really tired and like zombie-like, but. Okay, look, here's the deal, guys. Also, your homeboy needs a break. I'm not gonna be editing the whole time in the UK, so the fucking breathe. The editor does not have any IMAX anymore. <laughs> They'll still be there because I'm gonna be filming everything in the UK. I'm gonna film every day that this girl goes through. It's gonna be so much fun. And I'm actually kind of excited to vlog. Yeah, these gonna are gonna, gonna be like real vlogs. Each day, you're gonna see my mood either change from up, down to. So I have a lot of moods, but I also I always tell people when I'm in the mood. But okay, I love you guys so much. Peace.